this is a 2006 Kia Sportage with the 2.7 liter engine and it has a bad alternator. Let's change this alternator. So the alternator on this car lives way down there. So we're going to pull this engine cover off mostly just to get it out of the way so that we can take the belt tension off and then all the rest of the work is going to be done through the wheel well on the passenger side. So we're using a 3 8 ratchet in the end of that serpentine belt tensioner. There's a square hole cut out that fits it. And we're going to pull back on the tensioner and we're going to slide the belt off this smooth pulley right here. With the tire out of the way, the next thing we want to do is remove the splash shield right here. It's plastic. It's held on with, looks like four 10 millimeter bolts. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I want to disconnect the, uh, the battery before I get too far along. So I disconnected the negative terminal. I'm just going to stick it down here alongside the battery so it can't possibly return back up here and touch the negative terminal again or the negative post. So with that splash shield out of the way we can see our alternator right here. There's a bottom bolt right there and then there's another bolt up higher. There's only two bolts that fasten it. Uh, I believe you just got to loosen this lower bolt and the upper bolt, the short bolt, you take it right out. Um, the electrical connectors, let me see if I can. Are way up there, unfortunately, on my light screw. Unfortunately, this is an all wheel drive, so there's a big transfer case, no way of getting your hand up in there. So I may have to, I may have to unbolt it and cut, try to spin it around uh, to get at those. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me move my light. Let me dim my light. But the bottom of that alternator, come on, it's got kind of a reddish rust coming out of it. Uh, whenever you see that, that's a good indication that your alternator has failed. Typically the bearings inside it go bad. And that's, that's uh, small little flecks of metal that have made their way out onto the case and have oxidized. I'm going to remove this bracket right here for this power steering line uh, just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room to get the starter out of there. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here in the bottom. The bottom bolt is a 14 millimeter.
we've got one more bolt right up here. The small bolt on the top, that's going to be a 12 millimeter. I think I'm going to have to take that tie rod out because it looks like it won't fit out the front side. So it's going to have to come out this back side here, it looks like. I'm going to pop this tie rod off real quick. Okay, so I grabbed the other tire and I turned it all the way to shorten up this tie rod. And then that gives me enough room to sneak in back here. And let's see if I can get you on it. I gotta take off that bolt right there for that nut. Looks like it's about a 12 millimeter. That's for the, uh, the wire that goes to the battery for the charging. I was able to get the other um, connector unplugged already. I was kind of hoping there was gonna be enough play in that wire to get the alternator out here to do it, but there's not. So. I'm going to pull that off and then uh, we'll see if we can squirm this thing out of here. Okay, I was able to get that electrical connector disconnected, so let's see if we can get this thing out of here now. It's no good. Come on. They could have made that hole just a little bit bigger, huh? So this right here, you can see that this bracket right here is slotted where that lower bolt sits in. So there's no reason, well there's no need to completely remove that bolt. You can just put it in the alternator loose and reinstall it. Okay. Okay, always compare your parts. Make sure they're correct. Everything looks like it's oriented correctly. If you want to electrical connectors make sure they're the same looks good let's put her together
Okay, our battery is just under 12 volts. Let's start it up and see if it's charging. I'm not going to bore you guys with putting the tire back on because I'm actually going to do, uh, I'm going to replace the front brakes, pads and rotors, and I'm not going to film that. So if you guys found this video helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, check out my other videos. Thank you.